Okay. Today I'm going to show y'all how to use Octomed and make jungle or hardcore or rave music or any kind of music on the Amiga. So, first I got, I have the Amiga 500. So I'll be showing you how to use Octomed 4 and Octomed 5C. Any version newer than 5C will not run on the 500. So if you want to use newer versions, you'll have to get the Amiga 1200. But Octomed 5C and 4 work plenty good, so don't be too disappointed. But um, first, the Amiga Audio is, um, you have four channels that can be up to 57 kilohertz sample rate and 8-bit audio. Octomed, you're not going to be using anywhere near 57 kilohertz sample rate though or you'll use up all the memory because with the expansion this computer has one megabyte of memory so that's not very much so usually you use your highest sample rate would be um, around 22.05 kilohertz so first thing I normally turn on where it says little E, E1, E2, E3 up here. Those are your little effects or whatnot. By default it has these two on and I usually put the third one on so you have your oscilloscope. But that's whatever, it doesn't really matter. But first off we're going to load some samples. So I'm going to go to files and then you just navigate through to find your wherever your samples are, if they're on a disk or on the your hard drive if you have a hard drive um, so I'll just load in amen kick load instruments so now that's loaded I'll hit shift and then the right arrow key to go to sample slot number two and I'll put in the snare and load that in now if I go back to play and I hit the keyboard we got our samples So, now, if I want to program a little beat in with those, we'll just hit escape, the escape key to toggle edit mode, and on Octomed 4 you can see this little E lights up black when you're in edit mode. And then I'll just enter in a little rhythm here. Let's go back to the top, I'm going to hit, I hit F6 to go to the top. Alt space to play the block. So the block is basically your loop. That's where you program in your samples. So I'm going to actually speed this up. And your speed control is right here. It's it's odd, but you'll get used to it. So I'm going to put this one up a little bit. So now it's a little bit faster. And I'm going to go back to the top, and if you're in edit mode and you play it, you can enter in notes in real time, which I'm going to attempt to do here. So that's pretty rough, so you obviously have to go back and fix that up, but yeah, so say I want to delete a note in here, you just hit the delete key, and that'll remove the note. If you hit the backspace key, it'll offset all the notes like this, so make sure you know the difference there, but yeah, and if you want to put in a grid to help you with rhythm you just go to where, up here where it says block and then right here these all these numbers are your highlights right here so if I click 4 it's gonna highlight there and now you have a highlight and that can be very useful so I'm gonna turn that off so um, Yes, so that is how you make a basic block, and what
what you would do is you would create a new block. So now if I hit shift and the up and down arrows, I can toggle between the two blocks. And then I can copy the track, paste it into the new block, and then I can add something else here. Now we have two blocks with different layouts. So now to make it into a song, you would first create a bunch of blocks with different loops. And you go up over here and you'd hit insert. So now we have it's gonna play block zero twice up here. And if I insert it again and hit the plus to make it a one, now it's gonna play, it's gonna sequence through those. Let's see it up there. Right there is your sequence. So now if I hit play song, it's just going to play through those. that's how you make a tune, is just making your loops and sequencing them up here. But if you want to add, edit your samples, your sample editor is up here, where it says SMPED. So you click that, and then you can edit your samples. And in Octomed 4, you select by using right click, holding and dragging. Octomed 5, you use left click. So that's a difference. So if I want to delete that, I can. And you can do all kinds of stuff. This is pretty much just play around with it, see what it does. And yeah, that's that. Okay, so now we are in Octomed 5. Octomed 4, you pretty much just play around with it for a few hours and you'll figure it out pretty easily. Whereas Octomed 5 is a little bit harder. So you still got all the key commands are the same. You got edit and all that stuff. But everything else is up in your menus here. Which you access by holding um, right click. And then so on here if we want to load sample you hold right click up to display. And go to sample editor and then you just let go. And this brings you into your sample editor, which is pretty much the same. And then to load a sample, you can either go up to the menu, and it's somewhere in there is load. But I the shortcut is you hit the Amiga button on the right, and L. And that brings up this, and you just click Discs, and you go to whatever, wherever your samples are, and then you just... Like mine are in here, one there, select the stat, uh, sample, hit OK. Ten seconds to go. And there you go. So then to get rid of this, you just hit the X over here. It'll, there you go. So I'm going to load up a tune by hitting the Amiga button on the right and O. And then I'm going to navigate and open up a tune. Okay, now i got a tune loaded up. So on here your blocks and your making a sequence of your blocks is quite different so you have a little B right here and a little SQ for your sequence right there so if you hit the B this brings up your block list and if you hit this this is your sequence so you're gonna wanna usually once you've created all your blocks you're going to want to open both of these and then you just scroll through your blocks here and then you just append them into the sequence so this is the actual plain sequence here so it'll scroll scroll through that
So yeah, then you can exit out of those. Um, doing your block commands, like copy paste and all that jazz, is a little bit different. I think it's almost a little easier, but I don't know. So to copy uh, and paste a single track, you just hit the Amiga button and C and B like you would any copy paste. That's pretty modern. And then it just copies and pastes the track. But to copy the whole block, you go up to your menu, go to block, and you copy paste right here. To make a new block, you just go to block and new, and then I hit append. Because append will add it to the end of your blocks. Insert will just add a blank block in the middle of wherever you're at in here. Um, then you got track, copy paste, these have shortcuts, and it says the shortcuts right next to all of them as well, so that's useful. To adjust volumes and such, your instrument is up here, and you just go to set parameters, and then this is where you set your fine tune of your sample, the volume, all that, all that stuff. But I'll let you look at this closer, so there's your samples scroll through them and all that but yeah I'll just skip up this play for a second and you can see it loops through the sequence up here So this track I have loaded is a little bit different because I am using 5 channel mode here. So instead of being limited to 4 channels, I now have 5 channels and you can have up to 8 channels like this. And to change that you just go up to here, go to song I believe, and you go to set options and then you can channel mode right here, you can select however many channels. But if you want to use MIDI, you're only limited to 4 channel mode, so, yeah, you can't use MIDI in 5 channel mode, but, yeah, if you select this, it'll ask you, well, it doesn't matter anymore, but when you go to 4 to 5, say, it'll ask you, do you want to half all your samples, because in order to achieve 5 channels, when you're only limited to 4 audio channels, it it's, cuts the sample rates in half, and kind of mixes them together so your sound quality is halved when you do this but it's still usable And here the block is moving faster because I wanted to get more rhythmic stuff such as this right here but to do that you just go up to song um, or no you go to block set properties and then your length is by default 64 you just change it to 128 and then you double the speed which you can do by just take, changing this little value right here from 6 to 3. And that doubles the speed, so you have more, um, I don't know what you call it, in-betweens, I guess, or more lines to work with. Another thing to note is on the mixer here, the Amiga has two RCA outputs and I'm mixing them both together to a mono output because otherwise half your samples will come out one speaker and the other half will come out the other. So if you just have these going straight to a stereo input, it would sound like this. 
synths coming out of here. And the drums out of here. So we're gonna want to mix those together. But yeah, that's a bunch of random stuff about Octomed, I guess. I didn't script this, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but you know, if you want to see anything in particular, I guess just let me know, because there's a lot, and I don't know, I don't want to make like an hour long video of me explaining in depth everything, so yeah, if there's a specific detail you want to know, just let me know, but um, fuck, hold up. But yeah, I'll have the links to where to download Octomed for the Amiga in the description here. And if you want to use a tracker such as this, I will also put a link. There's a clone of this program called Fast Tracker and Pro Tracker that are similar to this that you can install on Windows, Linux, or Mac. And it works pretty well. So I'll put a link to that as well if you want to check that out pretty similar principle but you're not limited to four channels you can have up to like the one well pro tracker you are but fast tracker you can get up to 32 channels so that's pretty fun to screw around with but yeah i will put that in the description and if you want to know any specific details just let me know and i'll do a video i'm bored and don't have anything to do <laughs>